Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll do a demonstration for tooth preparation for metal crown for lower six. Hinaya Kasemna is sin il adit azza. The part with big in color, it will represent the bevel of the functional cusp. The functional cusp for lower six are the buccal cusp. Non functional are the lingual cusp. The orange in color will represent the axial wall, lingual, proximal, and buccal. The green color represents the closer surface and will do the closer reduction. We'll start first with the closer reduction. These marks. We put them on the inclination of each cusp and on the developmental grooves. Now we'll do the the the, uh, the grooves using fisher bear. Now we are preparing the depth orientation grooves. The position of my bear should be following the inclination of the cusp. Should not be horizontally or vertically. Should follow the inclination of the cusp of the cusp. One the butter, the two butter cars. The other one on the different car. Same the lingual, following the explanation of each car. As I said, for non-functional cars, the reduction should be about one millimeter for four meter crowns, and for functional cars, should be about 1.5 millimeters. Other axial wall should be one millimeter for all other axial wall, and finishing line should be 0.5. Now the grooves are ready. I'll also do the real one. Since in buckle surface we'll do the two blame reduction, so here also for several lanes. Now the grooves are prepared. Now I connect between them using flame bear for a closer surface. Do the cross reduction in two blames. It's called the blunder closer reduction. Along the explanation of each cut and curvature, we should do the reduction. For the new lingual cut, I do the same with others. Same reduction will be completed with other cut. See, divided to two planes, two parts.
The border will be the development of the group. Adjacent 
do not incline your bear by doing finger support move the hand this and there carefully you don't get after finishing line into one of the press after the initial preparation as I said later we will do the final preparation and refinement now since we broke the matrix band so no need to be careful using chamfer bear no need for long needle here you can use long needle bear if you don't place the matrix band now we go and open approximate contact We adjust the matrix band to move freely. Now the contact is open. Now we will open the Zabuxuma contact. Now the contact is open. See now we provided a space, so we are not going to hit the adjustment piece. Buckle reduction will be, it should be two plane reduction. We, we already done with gingival and middle head plane reduction. Now we are going to close all one reduction, which is beveling of the functional cut. The beveling of the functional cut. So following the curvature of the cut and inclination. Now we are doing the final shaving and separation. We check if there is any irregularity. Any sharp angles should be rounded. Now we check, do inspection to check if there is any sharp angles, any irregularities, if the finishing line is not uh, continuous and smooth, and also check for the taper of the tooth, of the axial walls, compare it with opposing axial walls. See the taper here? So it's not very inclined, so uh, their taper is acceptable, also from buccal side. Also the finishing line C is continuous. There's no stops or any irregularities from buccal uh, finishing line to distal, to lingual and to mesial finishing line. All continuous and uh, smooth. Check the cusp, the closer reduction. Also we follow during the reduction, we follow the anatomy of the tooth. So all cusps are here, mesiobuccal, 
uh, distal buccal and distal cusp, mesolingual and also for the distal, distal lingual cusp. All are present and uh, same anatomy as they were before. And see, all are good. Taper, finishing line, smoothness, and the anatomy of that reduction. See the finishing line? So all are good.